Alright guys, I have a real special one here today. We'll see. I'm pretty excited about this one. I think I know what it is. I think it's upside down. Oh, looks like a Christopher Ward. All right. Let's see. Oh, that's nice. You know, they say you can't judge a, uh, a watch by its box, but I'm pretty impressed so far. Oh, chronograph. Oh, look at that one. Oh, it's mechanical chronograph. Oh, this is fantastic. All right, let's find out what I can find out. There's a, a real pleasure in owning something that is beautifully made and crafted. One of the things that we knew would set us apart was a fair price for truly high quality watches. And we want to create a great experience for our customers by doing an honest, good job. We try to deliver a quality product. Mediocrity is just not in our language. We're more than just a watch brand, and it's certainly not an ordinary watch brand. All right, guys. So I've had an opportunity to take a look at this watch, and I don't even know where to start, honestly. The watch really, truly is a fantastic watch, and I, I truly cannot emphasize that enough. Now, this is a loaner. Um, this is not given to me. Uh, but I'm also not getting paid to do this either. So this is really just out of my own goodwill uh, and an opportunity to take a look at this Christopher Ward. Now I've known about Christopher Ward for a little while. I've seen their watches for a few years. It's a UK based brand and they usually use movements from uh, Swiss movements. Very, very nice movements uh, in particular. This is a mechanical uh, automatic chronograph and it is truly a spectacular watch. I mean, the quality of this watch, and I will go into detail, but the quality of this watch uh, really rivals like, you know, here's my um, Breitling um, Super Ocean 2. And <laughs> I would say that the fit and finish and quality of this watch, um, you know, really, it just, it just, it, it, it really exceeds this, like, for example, I, I'm just going to point out a simple, simple thing. On my Super Ocean, look at the crown, right? The crown is, is sealed here. Uh, and, and look at the alignment of the B for Breitling. Now, I love this watch, so I'm not trashing my Breitling, but, but look, they managed to get these threads so that, and, and, and this is tightened down all the way, and it matches. It, it, is, it is a almost nearly perfect 90 degree angle. So this is something that they actually put, um, they, they paid extra attention and detail to these little aspects of making sure that this watch was just perfect. There's so much about this watch that I am just so impressed about. And uh, hopefully that was reflected in the video. But before I go any further on that, did anybody happen to notice this in the video? Take a closer look. Here, I'll circle it. Army of Darkness. Now, I have to say, I immediately have a better opinion, much better than I even had before of Christopher Ward, because these dudes are hanging out in a bar that has an Evil Dead poster. I mean, <laughs> this is awesome. This is like one of my favorite movies, and now this super awesome watch. I mean, this brand was meant for me. Uh, but it, it's truly fantastic. 316 is stainless steel, and it's not just your normal stamped, um, you know, and billet cut and polished uh, case. This is, there's there's so much detail here, right? A polished uh, ring around here, brushed side, again, polished on the bottom, display uh, window. Um, the crystal is uh, is sapphire front and back. And not only that, right, it's not just sapphire coated, but it is also um, uniquely cut, right? And, and I love this because the old watches back in the day used to have this sort of raised crystal. 
Um, and I truly love that. All the old skin divers, all the old dive watches. And this is sort of a retro dive watch. This is their C65 chronograph. Um, and I'll get into the movement later, so I don't really want to focus on it too much. But I'm just going to go into all the detail of all the things I really love about it. It, it checks all my boxes, right? Laser drilled, um, you know, holes, polished, filled, solid links, billet, clasp. And, and there's so much here that's fantastic too. Like, you notice that they really put a lot of detail to make sure that it's very quality. Like, you don't even see um, adjustment points because you know why? They've got an automatic adjustment here. I can, I can adjust this pulling this down. I can shorten and lengthen it. Now, unfortunately, the person that had this loaner before me um, adjusted it so much that I can, I, I could barely get it on off my wrist. I'm going to put it on. It's very tight, but I want you to see how it sits on the wrist. Um, I can't even stretch my fingers out because it tightens so much, but I really want you to see how this looks on the wrist and it is truly just absolutely fantastic. Um, everything about this watch is really just, just top notch. Uh, it, it, you know, a lot of the really good high quality watches, sometimes they have uh, a billet uh, deployment clasp or, you know, clasp like this, but sometimes it's stamped, right? Most of my vengers are stamped. This is just unbelievable, you know, and, and it's laser etched, truly laser etched. It's really good quality here. It's on the crown. And again, perfect 90 degree angle to this. Uh, obviously on the face, you know, on the back, it, it, it's got, there's just so much about this watch that uh, I could go on and on about, and I will. Um, and, and this is, it, it's, there's so much about this watch that uh, I am just completely impressed with. All right, let's take a quick look at the movement now. Uh, I'm going to play a short video for you, and then we'll get back and do some measurements and uh, other things. The Christopher Ward C65 chronograph uses the Swiss-made Celita SW510 BHA automatic movement. Produced from the same patents as the legendary Valjoux 7750, the Celita SW510 BHA is a bi-compax automatic movement with twin subdials and a stopwatch functionality. Like the 7750, the movement has a 48 to 62 hour power reserve and a beat frequency of 28,800. An area of improvement the SW510 adds is two extra jewels that help to reduce friction over time. The SW510 BHA has two pushers. The top one starts the central seconds hand with minutes amassing on a counter at the three o'clock location. To stop the hand, merely press the pusher again. You're then able to reset the timer by pressing the lower pusher. The SW510's standard sub-second is located at the nine o'clock location and a date wheel is found at six o'clock. Finally, a specially designed integrated anti-shock system maintains accuracy under duress and harsh movements, providing highly accurate and reliable timekeeping. All right, so let's do some quick, quick measurements. Now, the site already has some measurements on there, but I tend to find that I like to do this myself. Sometimes it's a little bit off. I've got 41.5. Is 22 millimeter lug. The lug to lug. Well, we'll do this first. 15. See, so at the center, I get 15.3. The sightless, 15.1. Lug to lug. About 42 and a half. Um, I get. Let's see, 120 clicks on the bezel, and it's a very, very good quality bezel. Uh, it, there's, there's almost no play, but it's also easy to turn. So 120 clicks end to end, uh, and it is actually very useful, right? More as a timer than anything. I don't think there's any loom on 
on the bezel, but that's okay. Uh, this is more of a sport watch than it is necessarily a diver. Though you can actually use it as a diver because that's another interesting aspect. It is a 15 ATM, so 15 bar, 150 meter water resist. And I'll put the chart up there. And what's nice about that is, you know, a, there, there's a lot of 200 meter uh, watches out there. Very few that are actually chronographed. I, I don't think I've personally seen one, uh, but there are a lot of uh, 200, 200 meter watches out there that really truly aren't 200 meters. Like they just say that hoping that nobody's gonna notice it because to be honest with you, 100 meters is actually quite deep. That is the length of a high school football field and that's enough to get you to the Ariscany um, that has been sunk off the Florida coast. But 150 meters will really actually, I, I mean, there's so much you can do with that. You could actually take this scuba dive. You could take the scuba diving. Um, I wouldn't hesitate for a minute. I would take this all day snorkeling um, <laughs> and then just keep wearing it as I got into my um, cocktail suit and <laughs> into my tuxedo and went to a party in downtown Miami. So this, this is perfect for Miami Beach snorkeling or a party either one it's just absolutely fantastic so let me get into actually how it works too um, one of the nice features is that it has a screw down control for um, to help seal it and also to help prevent it from from the timer for getting affected i don't know if you guys know that but a lot of these watches they have a fake uh, a fake one just to look at but you can still push it in this you can't push it unless you unscrew it which is which is nice so the chronograph works quite well. Uh, it counts up to uh, 30 minutes on the three o'clock location, but we won't have to go through the whole thing. What is actually truly a nice, a nice chronograph. So just the same, start, stop on the top, um, reset on the left. So it's fantastic. And one of the things of course that helps with the water resistance here is that it is also a screw down crown. You can wind it manually that way, or of course it's an automatic. So um, the loom is fantastic too. It is a super luminova. Now I'll take a picture and put it up there so you can see it. But in case we can get something to show here, I'll just do it as well. Um, it really doesn't show up. It's too bright here. It's a it's a nice uh, sunny afternoon in Tampa and I haven't built my workshop yet, so it's what it is. But uh, very nice loom on this. Uh, it's, it is super Luminova, so I am very impressed. Again, let me know what you think about these watches. Um, I wonder if they'll let me keep it. What happens if I just don't return it? You think, you think I could just keep it? Kid, I'm joking. Of course I'm going to return it. Not that kind of person. I mean, maybe. I guess we'll see. No, I'll return it. What if they'll give me a discount? Anyways, let me know what you think about this watch. Uh, leave your comments below. I've been very impressed with this watch. Uh, and unfortunately, I may have to buy one. Damn it. I have too many watches. This watch is really fantastic. All right. Uh, leave a like, a thumbs up, press the bell, whatever. Uh, please subscribe. Thank you very much.